so deeply honored to be sitting next to Harvey and what he's going to offer uh, along this journey as we look at energetic alignment, what it is to be embodied in this physical form with all of its infinite dynamic changing natures, right? Looks solid and steady, but it's always in motion and always changing. And that Harvey has given his life and attention toward understanding the biomechanics, the anatomy, um, the ways in which we can use our body, both through yoga, physical therapy, and just being a human in his own body <laughs> allowed himself to really be um, a voice in this community and a voice in this practice of taking some of the esoteric ideas that might be woven, like spanda and um, some of the values that can sometimes seem a little uh, out in outer space and like we're trying to get them, but he brings them into the body, brings them into some really beautiful practices. So mostly uh, my dear friend and mostly someone who I lean on for both my own body and also send many students his way and have come into almost all of my trainings where possible, unless we're really far around the world and not at the same time. So just a deep welcome and gratitude to Harvey and what he has to offer in this exploration of the spanda body, the expansion and contraction of this being, and also the ways in which we engage in um, an understanding of the life force that we're given here, how we spend it, expend it, where we spend it and expend it, and if we can alleviate some of the places in which we give too much attention to, bring attention to some of the places where we are not engaged. And so even in our asana practice or relational practices, <laughs> that we have uh, ways of understanding our internal landscape as much as we do our external. I am also honored to be working with this lovely lady. Uh, I've learned so much from Janet by being a student of hers in her class and she's inspired me to understand a little bit more on the energetic or subtle body realm. So starting off with this biomechanics and anatomy, but now being encouraged to decipher out some of the things that you can't feel, the winds in our body. So marrying that with the physical practice turns out you have a full complement of so many different ways to understand how our bodies move and how the energies move through us. So, so grateful for the opportunity to inspire myself to learn a bit more and now trying to equate some of this not so tangible things to a more tangible product. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. And really we get to take these ancient writings and these ancient inquiries into the systems of our body, mm -hmm. right? As both an energetic being and a physical being, mm -hmm. and as we pass through uh, the various natures of a body as it goes through a lifetime, and then we get to see what it is to bring in this more scientific perspective as well, but embodied with spirit. So. And finding the interpretation on your own as well, to read and to learn, but also as it sits in your body, you develop your own interpretation of it, and what a powerful way to continue with your practice. So again, so thank you. So, on our next time together, we're going to do the interpretive dance of the Pranavayus. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, we'll see you. Um, namaste. Namaste.